This is a virtual reality headset that's used in conjunction with a smartphone. Smartphone goes right in there. This is a, one of the better ones. This smartphone headset is branded Amerisound, uh, the Vision VR by Amerisound. Uh, but this, this exact headset is sold under many different brand names. Two of the more popular brand names that this is sold under include Bobo VR and Luffy, that's L-U-P-H-I-E. I've also seen it under Sharper Image and Brookstone and ETVR and Kiwi Design and Aduro, A-D-U-R-O, Sound Vision and Yes Show, Y-E-S-S-H-O-W, VR Bink Bang. And I've seen it under the Four Dimensions brand name as the LD Pro. It was, it was the same thing except the speakers were not there. And in India, it's sold under the Procus brand name as Procus Pro. So this thing is really widely sold. Now, I believe it comes from a company called Ankux, A-N-K-U-X. I think they're the original manufacturer. And they're located in Shenzhen, China. And I guess they just sell them to whoever wants them and they stick their own brand names on them. But all things considered, this is an above average VR headset. Now, I take an interest in these things because I, I really kind of like VR. 180 degree and 360 degree movies are really kind of fun. And even though I own an Oculus Rift headset, uh, that's a really expensive thing. The Oculus Rift is like $300 to $350, and you're going to need to spend at least 100 bucks on your video card. So in order to do true six degrees of motion VR, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But it's really amazing how much you can really do with the smartphone you already own, depending on the speed of the smartphone. Now, my own smartphone is a Moto G4, and it's kind of a mid-level phone. It does okay, but it's not as it's not as powerful as the high-end Samsungs or Apples. And it tends to choke on some of the more difficult videos, you know, some of the some of the higher pixel rate and frame rate videos. It will uh, it will slow down and stutter and pixelate and look terrible and crash and all that sort of stuff. If you want to do smartphone VR, you're probably going to need a high-level smartphone to do it well. Okay, so what about what about this? Okay, so I'm having a problem with this VR headset. And I'm sure other people are having the same problem. So uh, if you own any of the brands that I named, you probably, many of you will have the same problems. And the first problem and the biggest problem I find is this thing. This cutout for the nose, you know, it just, that, that's not the shape of a normal nose. It's too low. It's too rounded. Nobody has a nose shape like that. Now, I suspect it looks this way because it was designed by Chinese designers. You know, the Chinese face is flatter with higher cheekbones and a smaller nose. Maybe it would work good for them, but for a European nose, this is a problem. And my nose hits right on that sharp spot right there. And it makes the experience nearly intolerable. And I would like to extend this cutout further up and smooth that off. So although I'm going to end up butchering this thing a little bit, at least it'll be comfortable enough to use. By contrast, here we have an Oculus Rift. Now, of course, this is a different product. This is a much higher end product. This is, this is a true VR headset with, you know, six degrees of motion. But, but that's not the point. The point is that look how it's designed for the nose. Look at that, look at that area for the nose. It starts... It starts way up above the lenses, and then it's a straight shot down, and then it's a nice deep triangular shape for the nose. This thing fits my face perfectly. You know, it, does, it doesn't hit the bridge of my nose at all. And so the weight falls on my cheekbones and on my forehead, and it's much more comfortable. I could wear this thing for hours. What's nice about this VR headset? Well, it has these speakers on the sides built right in. It has a built-in audio jack with the uh, standard 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, this headband is a little more comfortable than most. These openings for the optics are nicer too. They're squared off. Some of them are just round like little binoculars and they, 
they, they, they tend to cut off the a lot of the screen. You just get a circular image. This will give you more of a square image, which is nice. And it has a built-in Google Cardboard action button. You know, if you download the Google Cardboard software, you'll, you'll need some way of activating things. It has a button right there, and what it does is it pushes a little thing right here. And this is what this is what contacts the screen. Also, you've probably noticed one of my arms here for the speakers is, is snapped off. That's a different repair. So fixing that's going to be in a different video. So all things considered, this is a better than average VR headset. It's really quite uh, amazing that with just the smartphone you already own and a cheap VR headset like this, you can you know, really have quite a bit of fun. We're going to take this thing apart uh, so that we can work on it. We're going to start by removing this padding here, and this comes off pretty easily. It's just held on by these little hooks, little plastic clips. So these little hooks here plug into these little spots right there. Okay, so that comes off. That gives us a little more room to work. Next, we have these four screws. One, two, three, and four very tiny little screws that are kind of holding the front onto the back. Now I, what I do is I keep these little pill jars around to hold on to these tiny little screws. If these things fall into your carpet or something, you're going to have a heck of a time finding them. So we'll just go ahead and remove all those. Okay, we've got those out. Now with those screws removed, should be able to pull the front off the back and there it is these little knobs here actually push the whole device backward away from your screen in order this is how it focuses this wheel controls the distance of the lenses what i would like to do is to cut some of this plastic out and make an opening that's more like a normal human nose and i think i can take my dremel moto tool and maybe just cut so that my nose will fit in here a little better and be a little less uncomfortable here's another vr headset that i did the nose modification on this is from on o-n-n -N. i cut this big gaping hole in here a little crude, but you know what? It does make it a heck of a lot more comfortable. This one was actually worse than this one. This was really a badly shaped nose opening. And I, I cut out this triangular opening. My nose fits a lot better in this one now, even though it looks really ugly and butchered up. But I'll tell you what, a lot more comfortable. Although this is a super simple headset. This, this thing was selling for $5 at Walmart. They closed it out, I believe, at $2 a piece. <laughs> So you could get one of these for $2 at Walmart. So if you butcher it up, go spend another $2 and get another one. But it does make it more useful. So I'm going to attempt to do the same thing here. Extend this up a bit and make this uh, less uncomfortable. I have a Dremel Moto tool here. Cut out a little triangular section here to accommodate my nose a little bit better. See if I can take off some of the burrs, sand it down a little bit here. Now we've cut this nice triangular shaped opening here so the bridge of our nose doesn't hit that ridge anymore. We'll go ahead and put the cushioning back on. Now with the cushioning, 
back on, I have tried this headset again, and I can tell you that it's a lot more comfortable. I'm not getting that real pain right there with a the bridge of my nose hitting that. A lot of the forces are now transferred to my forehead and cheeks, and of course that's a lot more comfortable. That's the way it should be. I think we have a, I think we have significantly improved the, uh, the ergonomics of this device, making it, making it more conform to a real European shaped uh, nose. After we've made our modification on the nose area here to make it a little more accommodating, I tested the uh, device with my own smartphone. And when you put the phone in, it does become quite a bit heavier. And there's a little bit of a lever arm sort of you know, pushing down on your face. It is, it is definitely improved with that cutout, but still it's not perfect. I am still getting some a little bit of pressure in here on the nose. Part of the problem is these are not built up enough. This part that rests on your cheeks is not quite built up enough. And so the nose hits before the cheeks. Again, I think this has something to do with the difference between a European face and a Chinese face, the people who design and build these things. Their cheekbones are more prominent, their faces are flatter, and so it's going to tend to hit here first rather than here first. So perhaps we can improve this by building up this area a little bit. I have some bubble wrap here. It's very nice, pliable, soft material. I'll see if I can't somehow alter this in a way to shift some of the forces to the cheekbones. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm taking this bubble wrap and wrapping it up in kind of a cylinder here. So I have one on this side here. And I'm sort of cutting this cylinder to length. I'm taking a piece of tape and kind of wrapping it up into that cylindrical shape. I'm taking another piece of tape and I'm fixing this thing to the cheekbone area. Like so. Okay. So that builds up that cheekbone area a little bit with some nice soft pliable material. And we mount it back in. Let's see how that feels. Okay, I just tested this out with my modification here. I will say, yes, this does put more of the weight on your cheekbones and takes it off your nose. So it's even more comfortable now. So the combination of this hole here to accommodate the nose and this, these cushions here to build up the cheekbone area, this thing's actually pretty comfortable now. So we can take an already pretty good VR headset and make it significantly better, particularly if you're having problems with your nose hitting this thing. And I'm sure I'm not the only person like that. You can modify this thing to make it more comfortable. Okay, and that's it.